Although photographers sometimes intentionally create vignetting for artistic effect in machine vision, image vignetting or what we call shading is nearly always unintentional and is considered a problem for effective image processing. What is image vignetting or shading? It refers to a gradual darkening of the image towards the outer edges of the frame. There are various types of vignetting and one of them is mechanical vignetting where the image circle of the lens is too small for the size of the sensor, resulting in dark corners in the image. The only way to truly fix this type of vignetting is to switch to a lens with a larger imaging circle. But even if you have properly matched your lens to your sensor, you will likely still observe some degree of darkening of the image towards the outer edges. Besides mechanical vignetting, another phenomenon referred to as natural vignetting or shading is simply due to the way light behaves as it passes through the lens to the sensor. While the light rays strike the center of the sensor perpendicularly, they must travel at an angle to reach the outer edges. The light hitting the edges has to travel a longer distance and strikes at more of an angle, causing it to become progressively dimmer. In addition to mechanical vignetting, the lighting being used might introduce some additional non-uniformity to the image. To compensate for non-uniformities in lighting, JAI line scan cameras include a built-in automatic shading correction function. In this demo, we will show you how to use this. First, let's open the eBus Player software and connect with our SW4000T Prism line scan camera. Then, we will head over to the device control section and set the image region height at 4096 pixels to match the 4096 pixel width of our 4K camera, which will produce a square image in our display. In order to test the shading correction tool, we have to ensure that no exposures are present so that our testing parameters are homogeneous throughout. Therefore, we will set exposure mode to off. Then, we will set the acquisition line rate to a desired value based on our requirements and click play to start the image capturing. For this test, we will be using a light source with a color temperature of close to 6500K. As we start capturing, we can see our display area turn to an olive greenish color as it fills with the lines we are capturing. We can also notice a distinct black to green gradient visible on the screen. This indicates that a shading problem exists in our image, potentially due to non-uniformity in lighting. To solve this issue, the automatic shading correction tool will be used. Let's first set the shading mode to user 1, which means our correction settings will be stored in user 1. Once that is done, we can simply click on the Calibrate Shading Correction button to perform automatic shading correction. The message in the Shading Calibration result field instantly changes to Succeeded. Our calibration data is saved to User Set 1 and applied to our image capture, enabling us to clearly observe a homogeneous greenish background without shading issues in our live image. And this shows how easy it is to use our automatic shading correction tool.